guys, in this video, I'm going to talk about blackheads, how they are formed, how to get rid of them, and how to prevent them from forming again. So stay tuned. Hey guys, this is your pharmacist, Citra, and welcome to Ask Your Pharmacist, which is all about health, pharmacy, and beauty. Today's video is on a very common skin problem, which is blackheads. We all have experienced these dark colored, gunk filled spots, especially on our nose, but they can appear on other areas of the body like chin, chest, and back. Well, blackheads are a kind of acne that are caused by the buildup of oil, uh, sebum, dead skin cells, and sometimes also bacteria. And all of these accumulations tend to clog your pores. So when this gunk of dead skin cells and oil inside the pores rise and push through the skin and interact with the air, they oxidize and they turn black, hence the form blackheads. Now, blackheads are very similar to whiteheads. Uh, the only difference is that in whiteheads, closed pores appear on the skin, meaning there is a membrane over the pimple-like white material. So this membrane kind of protects the material inside the pimple and prevents it from getting it exposed to the air and, it, and hence it does not turn brown or black. While in blackheads, this material in the pores is being oxidized because it's exposed to the air or oxygen. So it's oxidizing, very similar to if you were to cut open an apple and leave it exposed to the air, then it's gonna turn brown, right? The same thing happens to your skin. The gunk in the pore, when exposed to air, turns black and causes blackheads. All right, now that you know a little bit of background, let's talk about the treatment of blackheads. I wanna share some effective tips to fix the symptoms, but the most important is to get to the root cause of the problem and fix it inside out rather than just putting a band-aid on it and just, you know, temporarily getting rid of the problem and re-getting it. So stick with me till the end of this video so you don't miss out on any of the important information I'm gonna share. So with blackheads, I know it's very tempting to pick and squeeze to pop out the blackhead, but stop right there because this approach could make your situation a little bit worse. So I would recommend that instead of popping out your blackhead, try using salicylic acid because this is literally gonna do its magic and clear out the blackhead. This is, this is literally a go-to ingredient for eliminating blackheads because it can increase the cell turnover, break down the dead skin cells, and extra oil in the skin before it can actually clog your pores. So it will actually prevent the formation of blackheads to begin with, but if you already have blackheads, salicylic acid will actually help dissolve them because of its keratolytic properties. Now, in general, salicylic acid-based products are safe to use, but since it's an alpha hydroxy acid, it can cause uh, sensitivity. So if you haven't used any products that contain the alpha hydroxy acid before, uh, then you know, be careful because it can, uh, you know, your skin can react to these products. It's always a good idea to start slow. Uh, you'll find products with salicylic acid um, in the market in the range of 0.5% to 5%. So definitely I recommend start uh, with a lower strength, pick a product with a lower strength. You can look, you can also look for a moisturizing ingredient paired with salicylic acid because that would prevent any irritation or dryness caused by the ingredient. Now, in general, oily skin tends to tolerate it better, but if you have dry or sensitive skin, it's more likely that it can cause slight irritation. In that case, I really recommend that start by using, like I said before, use a lower strength. And instead of using every day, use it every other day until your skin gets used to of it. For me personally, I've been using it for quite some time. I use the Neutrogena's Oil-Free Acne Wash. It's a 2% salicylic acid. This is literally my everyday use face wash. I don't use a salicylic acid cleanser or serum, but if that suits you, then by all means go for it. For me personally, I use the glycolic acid serum because that literally works wonders for my skin. Now, glycolic acid being a structurally uh, smallest member of the alpha hydroxy acid family is very effective ingredient for removing and reducing blackheads. That's why it's literally my go-to ingredient and it suits my skin. So I tend to use it all the time. 
it penetrates deep into your pores now the way it works is that it penetrates deep into your pores and gets rid of any excess dirt oil sebum or any pore clogging uh, dead skin cells now lately my go-to skincare routine is very basic i wash my face with neutrogena oil free acne wash and then i use a uh, glycolic acid i use number seven 15 percent glycolic acid serum i'll put it up on the screen and then i soak my face with rose water let it dry and then moisturize my skin followed by a sunscreen honestly this basic skincare routine literally helped clear my blackheads and brighten my skin in a week you have to try it to believe it i've been using glycolic acid for quite some time now and my skin tolerates it very well so i tend to leave it overnight often and i used to and i use it up to three to four times a week but if you are a beginner, leave glycolic acid on your face for no longer than 10 minutes because it can make your skin sensitive. After 10 minutes, wash it off and use it every other day or every third day. Another thing you can try for blackheads is you want to use topical retinoids. Now, retinoids may be useful for stubborn cases of um, acne or blackheads because they also help unplug the pores. Now this process can also uh, make other OTC products more effective by helping them be better able to enter the follicle, the skin follicles. But remember, the retinoids are very drying. So if you already have dry skin, then I would say steer, steer clear of retinoids altogether because they can do more harm than benefit. But retinoids work very well for combination or oily skin. Still, I would say moisturize, moisturize, and moisturize. This is very important even if you have combination or oily skin. For me personally, I have a combination skin and I use retinoids just as a spot treatment only and my go-to product is Deferin Gel. It's a 0.1% adapalene. It's it's about like $15. You can get it from any drugstore, Walgreens, CVS, or you can also order it on Amazon. I just take literally a small pea size amount and put it directly on my targeted area. Sometimes I'll take this small pea size amount, mix it with my moisturizer and apply it all over my face at night. But just again, remember anytime you are using retinoid, moisturization is the key because otherwise it's gonna make your skin very dry you're, you're gonna have dry skin and since it also makes your skin sensitive to sunlight uh, you can get extra sun damage with it so be sure to put on a sunscreen in the morning all right now let's talk about what not to do when you have blackheads we have talked about some of the effective ways to get rid of the blackheads some of the popular hacks I have seen on TikTok are literally ridiculous. So I want to talk about some of these hacks so that way you don't use them and irritate your skin. See, there are things that you should leave on professionals and must not try at home because if they are not done properly, then they can cause more harm than benefit. Like um, talk about blackhead extractors. Now these must not and i emphasize they must not use at home for blackhead or acne treatment because if you look at the blackhead extractors what are they these are metal or plastic tools and they have an opening on one end that creates a pressure on the pore to remove any acne or blackheads now if it's not done properly then it can definitely damage your skin and introduce your skin to more bacteria and literally uh, damage your skin so leave them on to professionals don't try them at home also pressing on blackhead can increase the risk of pain scarring and actually more acne can be formed and also result in infection it also creates an entrance for more oil and bacteria to fill up the pore and only dermatologists should remove the acne do not try doing that at home because there's a special technique that's associated with it there was another TikTok hack I was watching the other day and I thought that was to totally ridiculous and that was using school glue like Elmer's glue to remove blackheads. 
that's totally insane do not use that because that glue can clog the pore and can cause an allergic reaction so steer clear of it okay you must always consider uh, the potential for damage and irritation before using anything on your face or before applying any force on your face or use any shortcut products because they can lead to scarring and may actually make your blackheads worse another way to um Another worst way to get rid of blackheads is using any harsh scrubs. Now, it could be very tempting to slow away your dead skin in an instant gratification with, uh, with the help of an exfoliating scrub. This is like a manual exfoliation, uh, but I don't recommend doing that because the chemical exfoliants that I mentioned before, like the salicylic acid and glycolic acid, can be helpful for your blackheads, but the rough and tough granulated scrubs can be actually harsh on your skin because what they do is they strip away your natural oils and create more oil lastly i want to mention that if you truly want to prevent blackheads you also need to watch out what you eat now if you look at the deeper cause of the blackheads and acne they manifest because of the spike in androgens which occur very commonly in puberty and that's why you see a lot of teenagers with blackheads. Now, androgen is a hormone that's spiking up with the, the spike of insulin and insulin is your growth hormone and together these hormones actually increase the oil production and the size of the pores on the skin. So simply what you need to do is you need to avoid eating those foods that can spike up these hormones um, and some of the foods that trigger these hormones are uh, refined carbs like sugar, uh, bread, pasta. That's all good stuff, right? We all love eating it. Also dairy, I mean dairy is also a good one but it's a big uh, culprit because uh, dairy has hormones um, and if you think about dairy or milk what it does is it, it helps grow a uh, cow and other animals so it's filled with many growth hormones which accumulate in us when we drink milk and then that triggers our hormones which can cause acne. Now, I'm not saying to completely quit these foods because that's not going to be healthy to maintain a balanced diet because food alone doesn't cause or prevent acne. You know, your genes, your lifestyle and skincare routine also plays an important role. What I'm trying to say is just keep a balanced diet and also look for the root cause of your acne or blackheads. If they are re reoccurring, then the foods that I mentioned earlier may be causing that uh, you know condition, may, could, may be worsening the condition. So moderation is the key. And also, like I said before, understanding the root cause is important. I always emphasize that if your condition is serious, don't depend on these YouTube videos and these self-treatments. As a professional on YouTube, I can only point you to the right direction, but I cannot really advise you based on your individual needs. So definitely seek a healthcare professional for a personalized treatment plan. It's often easy to manage your acne at home, but some cases are more serious, right? If you don't see a difference with any skincare routine that you're following, or if you're doing, if you're making changes in your diet, you're trying all these over-the-counter treatments, and you're still not seeing any uh, difference, then definitely talk to your doctor because your doctor may refer you to a dermatologist and then help you get to the root cause of it, right? Early treatment can really help you, um, you know, prevent any scarring and that can actually enhance your confidence. All right, so this is it for today's video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions or video suggestions, leave them in the comments and I'll see you next time with another informative video on health, pharmacy and beauty. Until then, take care. Bye. Hey guys, if you found value in this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family and remember to subscribe to stay up to date on new weekly videos.